Hey guys, Chris Miffer here, welcome today to a new video. In this video series, I'm going to show you guys how to update your Galaxy Dump Duo i810 or something like that. I can't really remember the last three digits. Basically, Galaxy Dump Duo to the latest ICS firmware update. Obviously, this is not an official update, and this is something like the Galaxy Tab one where we have to do cool stuff with the phone. Once again, disclaimer, if anything goes wrong with your phone, it's not my fault. If you break it, I am not responsible for it. You did this of your own choice and stuff. But just follow my instructions and everything should work out fine. Anyway, so, okay, first go download this oldie multi downloader from Mediafire. This link will be in the description below. And download recovery clock word 5.50.tar from this link, which will also be in the description below. Now, if you guys are following this from my Galaxy Tab video, um, the Odin that I used in Galaxy Tab is different from the Odin that I'm using in this one, so do not try to use that Odin. So now, once you have these two files, get your Galaxy Tab into... I mean, Galaxy Tab, why do I keep saying Galaxy Tab? Get your Galaxy Tab view into recovery mode and plug it in. Alright, so as usual, just press the, to get into download mode for your Galaxy Dump View, press the down volume button, home button, and power button at the same time, and you come to the screen that says, warning, the custom OS can cause blah 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 blah. Um, yeah, they got a little smarter of the Galaxy Dump View. So now, just ignore this message, unless you are scared of your phone getting in trouble, and just click the volume up button to continue. It will now say downloading, do not turn off target, blah 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 blah. Now, plug in your Galaxy Dump View into the computer, and fire up the Odin that we downloaded earlier on, which should be anywhere you place it. So it says Odin Multi Downloader 4.43, so double click on that, click open, and it should open over here. Once again, you should see this box becoming yellow, like in the Galaxy Tab. You know what, maybe I should make some references to Galaxy Tab, because you guys may not have done that. Alright, so make sure that um, this thing is yellow. Now click OPS, and select Encovro OPS, the other file they downloaded earlier on. Alright, so now once you have this selected, Take the one package folder, just take one package, and go over to one package, and click on the recovery 5.504 and carotar.md5. Now as you see everything over here, ops, check ops, check one package, and all you have to do is hit start. Alright, so you see it says start track over here, 7, 8, and it should show green, blah blah, 5, 6, 7 seconds, wait for it to say close your report, and wait until you're rebooting, and on the other side of the screen, your or well, other side of the screen, other side of wherever you're seated, your phone should start to reboot. And um this little green bar here should just crawl along just fine. So just be happy and wait for it. Alright, hey guys, um I found what's happening and I am such a genius. Alright, as you can see the blue bar is still not done yet and probably you guys haven't finished it yet if you followed my method earlier on, but this is a big mistake. Because apparently, this reset time here, 300 seconds, I'm to check it out, is apparently the amount of time that it'll wait for your phone to reboot. And obviously, our, phone does not, our, our phones don't take three, 5 minutes to reboot. So, um, you can either uncheck this, or you can load the number, whichever you prefer. So, uh, let's just wait the last 5 seconds out for this. Yeah, I hope you guys didn't follow my instructions then, because then you have this problem too. Finally, 5 minutes is... what? 5 minutes? How, how, how is 300 seconds, 5 minutes and 5 seconds? Ah, oh, there we go. So it should say, pass, kill timer, restore instant, and we're done. We're nice and happily done. So thanks for watching part 1, I hope you guys continue to watch part 2 and to continue this tutorial. Goodbye.